Okahaba, Alabama, 1865. At this old mansion located here at Old Cahaba, um, which has since burnt down, shortly after the Battle of Selma, Union General James Harrison Wilson traveled to this location under a flag of truce to discuss a prisoner exchange with his opponent, Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest. A uh, Thomas Matthews lived at this mansion at the time, and he offered his home to those generals. There, on April 8, 1865, General Wilson arrived at 11 a.m., Forrest appeared around 1 p.m. The two generals shared a, quote, bountiful southern dinner with their host. Then they withdrew to the parlor for a long but guarded conversation. After sizing up one another, the two congenial dinner companions parted ways. They rode away from Cahaba Ray to resume the bloody war that pitted them against one another. However, the following day, General Robert E. Lee surrendered at Appomattox and Fort Blakely, uh, to the south, near Mobile, was assaulted and captured by the Union forces. This is the remnants of that old mansion at Cahaba. This is now a ghost town, but a state park run by the State of Alabama Historical Society. Or, as you can see, these are the columns from that old mansion where General Forrest and General uh, James Harrison Wilson met. And if you look over here, you'll see the Alabama River and the Cahaba River. This is where the junction of those two rivers meet in the area of the old Cahaba. And it was here, after the Battle of Selma in 1865, April 8th, that the uh, famous General Nathan Bedford Forrest met with his opponent, Union General James Harrison Wilson, to discuss a prisoner exchange.